Hey people, Zarthwomp here, and welcome to episode 21 of Super Mario Galaxy. Last time, we got the speedrun Comet Star for the Dreadnought Galaxy, as well as knocked out the rest of the Melty Multi Galaxy. And in this episode, we are going to finally take the battle to Bowser. We are finally going to complete the game, at least for now. It's time, do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? Yes, we want to go. All right, then. Off we go. There's a warp field inside the castle. Go, Mario. Go, they are inside. Hurry. Okay, we're finally entering Peach's castle. And just really, I can just imagine that. Basically, the Comet Observatory, it arrives at Peach's Castle, and then just the, every, all of Bowser's fleet, it's just annihilated. Peach's Castle, it's on fire. They enter inside, and they see just Twink. J Mario goes inside, he sees Twink just going on an absolute rampage, just being the snot at Bowser. But anyways, let's go. Let's just go in and have a lot of fun with this level, because I really do love this level. This is actually my favorite bout final level in a 3D Mario game just because it really does capture everything that's great about this game. From basically the gravity mechanics to just all the different all the different environments that we've seen from ice to fire and just overall it, and then it ends with a really good Bowser fight. Just I'll show you basically you'll see the Bowser fight when we get to it but in my personal opinion it is one of the more solid Bowser fights in the series. At least as far as, the, as far as the 3D games go. I mean, Bowser's fight in Paper Mario 1 was also pretty great. I mean, basically, it set up some great atmosphere. You had that whole, oh, no, are we going to succeed moment. And then we have a boss, a final showdown that ends with a really good song, basically. that Basically, you really feel that Bowser's, in, Bowser's large and in charge with that. But anyways, I have done this mission so many times that basically I can do it pretty much with my eyes closed. I, I don't mean to brag when I'm saying that, but really, just I have enjoyed this one mission so much. Just going through, just skating on, skating around. Yeah, watch how I die to that frozen star right there. Okay, no. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, go over here. And if you can believe it, we're actually almost done with this thing. Yeah, there's really not much more to this area left. Yeah, just go across the desert. Okay. No, don't land on the fire. Okay, no, 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 no. Not into the quicksand, not into the quicksand. Okay, there we go. Let's grab some more stars. Okay, now we get a platforming section. Jump up here. Yeah, though I'm just a little sad though that they don't give us the whole Bowser's Bowser in the Dark World music. Because I really do love what they did with that in this game. Just with just the whole epic feel that it gives off and Darn it got it! Okay. Let's jump. And we are all and we're actually nearing the end. I think that this is the last area before we get the big showdown with Bowser! And to get hit by a board bill. Revenge of the board bill. I'm like, I did this area with my eyes closed. It's, nope. No, you get to do this area again. Yeah, well, having proficiency with an area when... Having a proficiency in an area without years of practice, basically, it can screw you over. Okay, come on. Let's get going. 
into the thing. Hopefully we don't get wombo combo this time around. Okay, let's get a coin. Nice. Okay, thwomp time. Let's run through the thwomp. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, making it through. Nope. Okay, good, good, good. My controller was acting up, but darn it, it did not get me. It did not deter me. Anyways, in this mission, we are introduced to Bonsai Bills. Bonsai Bills, unlike Bull Bills, do not seek you out. They are just like their typical Mario World incarnation where basically they just chase you down. They don't bother chasing after you. Okay. Nice. No. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, good, good, good. Let's dodge. Yeah, this is the only level in the game that actually features bonsai builds. Don't know! Of course, right at the last level of the game. This is where things start to fall apart. This is where crap hits the fan. Where I'm like, this is where my, where I'm gonna shine. And then just, nope. Mario Galaxy has different plans for you, Zarthwomp. Okay. Let's dodge out of the way there, good. Don't let the thing collapse. Okay, can we actually do it right this time? Okay, there we go. No, no, no. Okay. Let's get going. I know, no, no, no. Okay, I think that this is a little harder than I remember it being. Okay. Let's block that out. And make it over here. Okay, there we go. Okay, don't let the bonsai build blast us. Okay, there's the last section. The last section and we are foam free. Yeah, I love how we're pretty much dying right at the end. Right at the end, things are going wrong. Okay. No, no, no. Dodge. And there we go. We made it. We are done. The level is over. There's Bowser right over there. And Junior tries to stand our way. Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, cause she's with me. I got Mama Peach. Mama Peach is gonna go to my Christmas recital. Mario, his, his, his portrayal of Lil Timmy is much to be desired. He doesn't know how to properly emote Mario. Okay. Anyways, Bowser doesn't try to blast us down. Instead, he has his son do his work for him. So anyways, let's grab that mushroom because I don't trust myself after basically that horrendous experience with basically going down that bullet bill alley. Finally! Finally! Kamek, you finally have decided to try to renew my OnlyFans subscription to Peach! You got your chosen dying to the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe! Watch and weep! Behold, Mario! This giant orb of gas represents my left testicle! Behold, gaze upon its large size and fiery nature! From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side! It will last forever! I will rule every pivotal corner of this universe! So, Mario, as you can see, I got big plans! And stomping you is at the top of my list! And then Twink just rushes in and tackles Bowser. Anyways, Bowser, he's gonna be doing things a little differently this time around. Notice how there is no reactors nearby. Instead, we get Bowser in the boulder. Boom! Smack Bowser's boulder form. And then boom, smack him again. After attacking him once. Okay, I thought that he was going to move on to the next phase of the fight. Boom. Okay. Bang. And boom. 
Bowser gets sent over to the we get sent to the next planetoid where we actually have things a little easier this time around. All you gotta do, boom! Smack Bowser with the with the green stuff. Boom. You can just combo Bowser like mad on this planet. Okay, come on. Boom! And final phase! Yeah, things get really epic as we fight Bowser one last time on the reactor. And this time around, instead of spinning, he's just gonna go into his shell and just roll around Mar Bowser's Inside Story style. Okay. Boom. Boom. And I believe we only have one more round. That or it's a three hit thing. Okay. Yeah, just wait, just no, don't get hit, don't get hit. Yeah, I was gonna say this is one of the easier fights against Bow final fights against Bowser. Because really, when it comes to the shell, just go slightly to the right. Ow! I was saying go slightly to the right. Yeah, Bowser's using dominant strategy on us. Okay. That was my mistake. A mistake I shan't repeat again. Boom. Okay, boom. And bang. And we won. And just Bowser goes into the fire. Uh, Lord Bowser, uh, I don't know if this is a good time or not, but apparently we missed the window to renew your subscription to Peach's OnlyFans. <coughs> okay, let's grab that star. Yeah, Junior's dead. Yeah, Junior goes into the fire. No one's concerned that this child is burning alive. <coughs> Sorry. How Bowser got over here, I don't even know. Did he just go through the walls of his of his go, his reactor? Oh god, why? It's horrible. Kamek, why didn't you why did you do the account? Why didn't you drive by my mother's maiden name, Kamek? You failed me, Kamek! My picks! The saved picks are gone! No! My galaxy! My empire! This can't be happening! No! My picks of feet! My feet picks! I saved the Princess Beach! Gone! Rosalina would be trying to kick the Comet, or Comet Observatory into overdrive and just try to zip away from the black hole. Yeah, 
Yeah, where are the star spirits when you need them? You know, just one wave of the star rod, boom! This entire thing is just gone, it's resolved! Yeah, we just grab Big Bang essentially. <laughs> Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So, you'll see... Yeah, then we'll kick Guppy out of this lake, too. No lake is safe. As long as Guppy has a power star, we are taking away all of his stuff. Yeah, just Dino Piranha just chilling. just rushes in with the star rod and whacks Bowser on the back of the head. Simp! Uh, sorry about that. Yes, all new life carries the essence of the stars. Even all of you. I have collected all of the cringe in the galaxy to reform Bowser. Okay, uh, sorry. <coughs> uh, can we skip the credits? Uh, I don't know if we can skip the credits because I've got stuff that I plan to do. I still have stuff that I want to do in this episode. Uh, can, can we skip? Uh, I don't want to say my thoughts on the game just yet because, well, we're not done with the playthrough yet. We still have 15 stars to collect and all of them, well, some are, are going to be easier than others, but... Suffice to say, there are going to be some that I am not going to be looking forward to collecting. Namely, the remaining stars in the C... In the... Ah, sorry. And basically... I cannot remember the name. Basically, the, the Sea Stride Galaxy, the, the Sea Donut Galaxy, the, the, the Donut Galaxy, the Sea Slide Galaxy. I, I don't know. Basically, that one circular don Donut Galaxy that we visited in the engine room as well as the Melty Molten Galaxy. Those are going to be my least favorite stars to be getting, really. But you will be seeing them later. And sorry if my throat seems a little off. I've just been recording, like, mad today. Okay. Let's just wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, just watching Major Burrows. You know, this would actually be a good time for me to plug in my iPad. Because my iPad is once again down to 10% charge. Hooray! Okay, good thing I took some Tums after my dinner tonight, because I am starting to feel a little gassy. Dealing with burps. Eh. 
And with burps, it's basically my throat starts to give out. Hooray! How much longer can I record? How much longer can I go on? Okay. Just gotta wait for it. I'll say my thoughts when we get to the credit scene for the second time. But for now, we just gotta wait. Gotta wait. Mario upside down. Mario just gotta headbutt that Mecha Koopa. Okay, let me just get this in. Come on. There we go. There we go. <coughs> okay. Yes, just Ice Mario, no Fire Mario. Okay. Gotta wait for it. Wait for it. Come on, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're reaching the engine room. Okay. Come on. Yes, we're seeing all kinds of galaxies. Okay, we're going backwards. Okay. Let's just turn this off. Turn this iPad off. Okay, yes, Hungry Luma. We don't have to deal with any more of those in the playthrough. Okay, just gotta wait. Though I am kind of debating about what to do once I get all 120 stars. Yeah, the five boo spin. Actually, no, the six boo spin. But anyways, yeah, that, that, that is a pretty cool screenshot right there. Yeah, if I would have had that sort of thing, I would have definitely been throwing that into into one of the video, into the bolt into the boulder guys. Yeah, I would have been throw, using that as the screenshot for episode nine instead of the one that I that I did go with. But hey, I like that screenshot anyways. But anyways, as I was saying, basically, I am kind of debating about how to handle things for the bonus video because once I get all 120 stars, well, the in order to get see everything in the game, you need to get all you need to get basically 120 stars and then you need to get 120 stars again i'll explain more in detail once we actually get to that point but i'm kind of debating about what to do hmm. yeah it's kind of a debate about what to do how to handle things actually no nah, i don't think i would have enough time to do it Thank you so unless much. i really did a crank through yeah you know what i think i may actually be able to do it though yeah, new chapter's been added. And the purple guy has appeared. Welcome to hell. The purple guy has arrived and all hell's gonna break loose. Actually, you know what? I think I could combine two for the price of one, you know? I think I could... Yeah, I have an idea of how to do things. I... Yes. This can work. This could work. I, I got an idea. Two birds with one stone. Okay, there we go. Yes, the toad pile. Let's go in. As you can see, we got a crown for basically beating the game. Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. Please, look down at your feet. That's how many stars are left in the game. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Whether you succeed or fail, just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. Though if you don't succeed, I will judge you for all of time. Black Luma will judge you for all of time. The creepy comet, prankster comet Luma will judge you for all of time. And not only that, but he will cyber bully you. Anyways, as you can see in the Terrence, we now have a star. We now have a comet star. Anyways. Yeah, we actually lost out on all our lives. So yeah, you get to see the letter from Princess Peach where she's like, hey, here's a gift. Here's five lives. Have fun. Yeah, they took away our lives. Even though they booted us, they forcibly booted us, booted us out from the game. Yes, booted us out. Yes. How can I fail at speaking today? The Terrence is here. The Terrence is open. Hooray. Okay. As you can see, the Good Egg Galaxy now has its has its second comet, the Purple Comet, where you get to collect a hundred purple coins in order to get a sh in order to get a star. I was about to say in order to get a shine sprite. Yes, you now have to get 120 shine sprites, and then you also get out to get 120 power moons. Purple coin omelet. And not only that, but when you, the purple comet rises, you have to see this shade of purple that has always been a bit painful in my eyes, to be honest. Okay. Now, with this one, let's read the sign and see what it has to say. Collect 100 purple coins to make something neat happen. I.e., collect 100 purple coins and you get the star. 
We already had this in the Gateway Galaxy, in which we collected 100 purple coins and we made the star up here. So yeah, they make they give you a pretty easy one this time around, where basically you just collect the coins and then you go and then basically you end the mission off. Nothing real big. The coins aren't really all that well hidden in this one. It's more or less just a thing to teach you, hey, here's how you collect 100 purple coins. Look for the coins, collect them. Yeah, they're pretty much just in a straight line just around the galaxy. But there are going to be ones where it can get painful. Okay, we're already halfway done with this one. Okay. Let's collect you. Collect this. There we go. This is one reason why I wanted to get all the per all the common stars that I could get during the playthrough. So that way we could focus exclusively on purple coins. Because if you don't focus on the purple coins, uh, sorry, if you don't focus on the comets, then what you're going to end up doing is you're juggling just all of the different, you're juggling the comets and the purple coin stars. And they will never appear when you want them to appear and you're having to spend them at the Luma and just, oh, it's just, it's a, it can be just a bit of an irritation, you know? So, let's go over here. Spin through there and collect the remaining coins. And we're already at this point where I'm wondering where the heck the remaining coins are. We only have 10 left, but they will torture us. Okay. Okay, did I miss anything? Okay, there they are. And they're back where we started. Like I said, just relatively easy mission. A relatively easy star mission. So anyways. Let's just get back to where we started. Okay. And with that, the... And with that, basically, we'll have this mission... We'll have this galaxy completed. The Good A Galaxy will be 100%... Will be 100% done. There we go. One star down, 14 to go. And now we only have to co... And now we only need around 1,400 co purple coins. Okay. Save the game. Okay. No, I will not save the game. Okay. Let me see if any other purple coins have appeared. Okay, the Honey Eye Galaxy is next, but we'll cover that in the next episode. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share it to wherever you want, and with that, I'll see you next time. Bye!